Whoa, 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 whoa. Hello. Hi, but and <coughs> Ironhawk and Bob. How are you guys doing tonight? Hope you're well. Are you ready to uh, kiss some more people? Because let me tell you, I get the feeling we might be kissing a few people today. Now, is, is my OPS actually going to show the game right now? No. There you go. I caught it this time. Ugh, okay. Quick re recap. What did we do yesterday? We did a lot of kissing side people. We didn't make much in the way of main game progress, although we did get two of the three alien dictionaries that we need. I'm assuming there's only three, and that I'm just missing alien dictionary two. I guess there could be anything more than three as well, but I'm just going to pretend not. Um, so... Tell you some alien words? I can't actually read any of the items in my inventory. Uh, so how about kapla? That's that's Klingon. I can tell you that. Hey, Schumann. Some people buried themselves underground while we were trying to kiss them. That's true. There was there was some... Uh, <laughs> there was a lot of saves coming involved, especially involving a certain train line. Oh! oh! <laughs> Fuck! Okay, I almost got murked by the cops, but we're fine. Um, here, okay, um, hmm. I'm, I'm trying to think what I want to do. I need to, okay, I want to find a, a, a telescope. I need a telescope and I need a wooden gong. Those are the two things I know that I need. And the telescope, it seems to be the thing that I'm closest to. Be a criminal. I also need to be a criminal, but... So to be a criminal, I need to I need to buy some tobacco. That's easy enough. I need to get naked in public. I don't know how to do that. And then I need to do uh, something else. I think alcohol is the other thing. You're gonna guess kapah means kiss. I think it means like it's like a Klingon like uh, greeting, not not even greeting, exclamation, uh, farewell. I don't know exactly how it's used. I don't know what it means. I don't speak Klingon, but that's like the stereotypical Klingon word. Oh, hold on. Uh, hold on. Let me set my alarm a little earlier. Here's one thing that I want to try doing today. There's this lady who is like my... Um, uh, my neighbor who I met at the very start of the game. And she like is always flirtingly, jokingly inviting me to come over to her house. So I want to just follow her around for the entire day. I'm just going to, like, stalk in front of her house. I'm going to follow her all the way around for the full 24-hour cycle. I'm going to see if I can actually do anything with her. And also... Um... Once the antique shop is open, I'm going to buy the magnifying glass because I don't know what the magnifying glass is for, but I'll presumably need it at some point. Jesus Christ. Oh, wait, I leveled up. Oh, holy shit. I've become a handsome boy. I didn't even realize I was that close to a level up. Yo, let's go. I'm a handsome boy. I always knew it. Keep trying and becoming a man with a strong heart. Don't go to the old lady's house. She has serial killer vibes. Listen, I'm immortal. I have save scum technology. If the cop couldn't kill me, despite, you know, shooting me in the face unprovoked, then I don't think this old lady can kill me either. I mean, okay, the cop didn't kill me, but the point is, like, I, I, I came back. Speaking of save scum technology, let's inaugurate the save scumming today with, uh... A quick one at the start of the day. Okay. So we're going to run over to the, the old lady's house. I don't think she'll be out yet, because I got up at 5 in the morning. Um, but yeah, my plan is to try to catch her as she leaves her house in the morning and just follow her around all day long. Which, to be fair, that, that kind of implies that I have the serial killer vibes. That is sort of a creepy thing to do. But whatever. It's not creepy if it's a kid that's doing it, right? I think we've established that. Long life cinema. I, I wonder how I get into this cinema. It's 
The theater says that it's like closed on the outside. But I don't know if it like is ever open on a different time of the day or if I can make it open because I have all these films. Yo, hello. What? D listen. I'm just saying hello. It's arguably more creepy because of it's a kid. Kids can't be creepy. You ever seen that movie The Shining? There are no creepy kids in that. Okay. How about now? No. God damn it. This is annoying. Am I supposed to, What if I, Okay, hold on. I'm going to try creeping in on her. Oh yeah, I'm going to creep in. Can I open this door? No. Did she catch me? Oh, she catches me. Okay, that's no good. You're so glad I'm not playing this without the guide. This is exactly what you were hoping for. Seeing a couple of players attempt it without the guide, and it does seem fairly possible. Is this really like a game where nobody ends up doing it without a guide all the way through? <laughs> like, just nobody? That's interesting. Good morning, Brungo. It's a beautiful day. Hee hee hee. What? Oh, okay. I thought I was, took damage again. Hmm. I'm gonna follow her in a sec. So the one thing of note in her backyard is that she has a filled hole down here. Somebody has filled her hole, or perhaps she has filled her own hole. Um. Oh, hey, hey! It's Bannerman. Yo, 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 Bannerman comes out at 7 a.m. Okay, write that down. 7.30 a.m., Bannerman comes out. I'm going to see... Hmm. He doesn't, he doesn't look like he's fuming. Oh, oh, what? Oh, my God. Okay, so he does just... He's very easily kissable. It's just that... Oh, my God. Holy shit. Hey, Carolyn. All night is Dark Souls for girls. Truer words have never been spoken. Do it again, do it again, do it again. Come on, I'm- WHAT?! Okay, wait, he's gonna go back though, right? Which what direction does he go? I think it's a combination of people being made to do 100% completion runs as requests. Oh. Yeah, why would you ever agree to do 100% completion on the game? Oh. Okay, so he turns more red as he's about to go. Fuck, you're a girl now. There's worse things to be. I don't know which I actually liked more between Hall Knight and Dark Souls. I think I like Dark Souls more. I thought he was gonna... Dude, I thought he was going the other way. Okay, hold on. I'm ready for him now. <sighs> okay, 7.30 a.m. tomorrow. I'm coming here. I'm killing this guy. Let me go check what's... Let me go check on what's her face who I was going to stalk. Dude. Uh, it's an obscure game, so you think that obscure is the reason and why they play it. That's true. Yeah, I don't know. I wouldn't want to like try to 100% this game because like already just trying to figure out how I'm supposed to progress seems impossible. Actually, you know, the side content seems easier to figure out than the main story. Because the side content, as far as I know, is just like, go to hole, wait for dude to come out of hole, and figure out how to kiss him. Hey, yeah. Manor got embarrassed because I was looking at it. I think that's what was going on. Wouldn't, if you're live as a banner, wouldn't you want to be looked at? Wouldn't you be into that? Wouldn't you be like an exhibitionist? Let's clean in front of your house too. Don't worry, no need to thank me. So she just goes around cleaning the town all day long. Maybe she doesn't actually let me into her house, but there has to be something to do at her house because she keeps trying to throw me out. Hold on. I want to try something real quick. Well, have I ever tried just like giving items to people? What if I give her these flowers? You give me La Lavender. Thank you. But I can't accept it. Oh. Hee hee hee. Interesting. I think any of it is side content? Oh no, that's terrifying. Hmm. Maybe they expect that people will overlook them? The holes in the ground? 
Maybe. I don't know. They're kind of everywhere. What is what does this card do? I should just start try giving random items to NPCs more. Okay, she doesn't want any of this. Because presumably there's some interactions with giving NPCs items. Hmm. Question mark didn't pop what when you walked over them, people would probably ignore him. That's true. I mean this game is nice in that regard, that you know, pretty much everything that you can everything that you can interact with gives you the interact symbol. You give me big poopy, thank you, but I can't accept it. It's a shame I threw all my big poopies away. What if she wants do you think she wants a frog? I've held this frog on me since like the start of the game. Okay, this is pointless. This is just the same thing every time. I don't know what of my items she would possibly want. Hmm. Maybe this isn't the best NPC to follow around for a whole day. Because she kind of just sweeps. You know? Interested to see what would happen if I did this to the sewer guy? What, just start giving him items? Maybe. I guess I could try, if you want me to, but, uh, wait, did he just throw something in the trash? I don't really like her. Who? Don't really like her? Who the hell are you talking about? He just threw something in the trash. You see that? <laughs> That's what you've been saying, don't follow the lady? Yeah, but you've been saying that for ethical reasons. I'm saying for practical reasons. It's empty. I totally just saw him throw something in there. Yo, hey James, what is that emote? They sleep? Bat and come into sleep and poggies. Okay. I take that to mean that you're stopping in real quick before going to bed? Is that is that how I'm reading that statement? Oh, he's the only explainer besides my father. I think I should I, I guess I could get, try giving my father items as well. In that case, it's nice to see you, James. I hope you had a good day and hope you're ha gonna have a good night. Um, I wanted to get this magnifying glass. Because it's the only quest item, or it's the only useful item in here that I can actually... Hmm. Yeah, that I can actually afford right now. Maybe I should be saving up my money for something else, but maybe the magnifying glass will be important. Wait, I can buy multiple? Wait, did I get that? Where is it? I did get it. Huh. I'm not sure what it could be used for. There's a, there's a couple other miscellaneous things I kind of want to try. Like, there's that vegetable stand in Scarecrow Field where I dropped my daikon off yesterday. And I thought it's supposed to be like a training post. Because there's a picture of an eggplant on that vegetable stand. So I think I can get it. I think I can trade something for a, an eggplant at the vegetable stand. And then... I can uh, give that eggplant to Eggplant Boy in the temple in order to kiss Eggplant Boy. Maybe the under the presumption, because you can discard items, you may need to buy another. Well, you can reclaim any items that you discard. It, there's like infinite storage by just discarding items. It's kind of cool. I'm so busy. Next, I'll clean in front of the train station. Hee hee hee. No need to thank me. Man. Oh yeah, Carolyn. We got owned yesterday in this game because it, there was like Japanese culture knowledge that they expected me to have. Or at least Japanese geography knowledge. I don't know. That I didn't quite have. Oh, I can go in here during the day? I thought I couldn't. I need to get... I think I need to get alcohol from her. Yeah, can I get... How do I get alcohol from you? Have you seen anyone cooking chicken? No. Why don't you go home? I have to start working now. Wait, what if I say yes? Holy... Oh! What? What? What the hell just happened? Cooking is fun, isn't it? What kind of chicken dish do you like? Okay, I have no idea what the hell this person's talking about. 
this dude, her like deadbeat husband, loves like film. And so I've been trying to show him all the different like films that I've collected, but he hasn't liked any of them so far. What is this interaction? Old poster, Evil Doll Z, or Evil Doll 2, probably. I didn't, Bob, and thanks for reminding me. Why don't I literally do that right now since you're reminding me? I'm so bad at remembering to do things. Do, 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 do. I also need to update this list. It's one, a few games out of date, and it's two, it just needs to be. Uh, commands, add com, games. Does this work? I forget how Nightbot works. There you go. Fuck! Wait, I almost had it. I almost had it. There you go. <clears throat> yep, I, I, I need to have that so that people know what to actually put into the raffle, or rather what not to put into the raffle. And yeah, I'll update that in a little bit to accurately reflect a few things. Anyway, this guy likes film, and I've tried giving him the films that I've collected so far, but he says, <laughs> Film, you brought a film, that Edo film, that's not too bad, but that's not it. Huh. The posters say, uh, yes, good question. What did the poster say? Well, oh, I can, I can inspect multiple of them. Old poster, Love and Be Young by Goro Arashiyama. Goro Arashiyama. Old poster, Evil Doll 2 by Goro Arashiyama. Okay. So, ooh, 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 ooh. Okay, so he likes Arashiyama. I assume that's the director that he is a fan of. So I assume when this says Hideyuki film and Ito film, those are the names of the directors. So I'm looking for a uh, Arashiyama film. Does magnifying glass work on posters? Good question. Nothing can beat the masterful film Fart Woman. How do you know that uh, Fart Woman was not by Goro Arashihama? Maybe that's his seminal work. Hi. No. I don't even know if you can like use items on objects in this game. You might literally just... Oh, wait, she stepped out for... She steps out for a second at... What? Is this PM or AM? She steps out for a second at like 5.30 p.m. I wonder if I can steal her alcohol at then. I do need alcohol in some way. Interesting. Um, is the other thing closed? The antique store. Because he sells films there. So that's something to keep in mind. I'm looking for an Arashiyama film. Stealing was one of the crimes. Stealing was one of the crimes. That's right. It was stealing tobacco and public nudity. I forgot about that. Evil criminal bungo. Listen, I just I just need to commit a single crime. Well, I just need to commit three crimes. Is that so evil? Are any of those three crimes really evil? Stealing, tobacco, and public nudity? Is that really like evil? I would say like at most maybe disruptive inconvenient to some people, but evil? I think that's a bit too much of a judgment. Um, where did What's-Her-Face go? Is she gone already? Steal tobacco while naked in public? I would if I could. Well, uh, in-game. Uh, oh, shh! Okay, I almost got murdered. If I could, in-game, I would, in-game. Mm -mm. Sadly, I don't know how to. Sorry, safe's coming. Uh, no, I'm, dude, I'm trying to knock on your door to say hello. I'm not trying to... You can't enter someone's yard like that, Brungo. He, he, he. What if I... Okay, I'm going to try one more time with this. Is that the bottom of the evil scale? Exactly. I mean, I don't think you... I think... I don't even think it should show up on the evil scale at all, you know what I mean? Okay, I don't know what's up with her. She doesn't want to talk to me. This is Dr. Phil. He needs an item, I think. 
Um, let's see, is the cop over here somewhere? Sort of. Okay, the cop is gone. It's a shame I can't go into the cop's little office here while he's away and steal something. I don't know where to steal from. It's another problem. Mm -hmm. Oh god, hello. Don't kill me. Hello. Okay, we're fine. Okay, I'm gonna get up uh, at the same time, 5 a.m. I'm gonna go kiss that uh, billboard guy because he seems he seems kind of difficult. He might give me money, like a significant amount of money. Then I need to check the antique store again. I need to see if they have the Arashiyama director film. And if neither of those things work, then uh, I'm out of ideas for this area. So I'm going to go back to Scarecrow Field. And I'm going to try to figure out how to get my eggplant, I guess. Why does the comp only shoot me and not anyone else? Well, no one else is out past curfew, I think. Right? I'm the only one who's violating curfew. Or it's because I'm poor. That's another good explanation. But my reputation is increased. I'm no longer a poor boy. I'm now a handsome boy. I mean, because I'm too handsome? Okay. You just can't win, can you? You're either too poor or you're too handsome. So no in between with the police. Handsomeness is poverty. True. <laughs> That's like how celebrities justify calling themselves poor. They're like, if you think about it, handsome people are the most poor of all of us, really. So it's just so difficult, you know, having to go out every day being as handsome as me. It's like the least bad crime ever. Yeah, well, it's apparently enough for this guy to shoot me in my face. What can I say? If you're a cop in a small town, you basically just power trip, right? You can do whatever you want. You can shoot. You use the law as you see fit to shoot whoever you feel like. I think that's. I think that's the moral of the lesson here. The moral of the lesson. Moral of the story. Okay, I'm here an hour early, but that's fine. So he gets increasingly red as he stares into the corner, and once he reaches a certain level of redness, he sprints away, and as he's sprinting, he's kissable. So I'm going to stand right here, which is, which will catch him as he turns around and starts sprinting. Yes. I'm going to kiss him right in his face. Hello, you. Okay, here he comes. Okay, so does he just turn red on his own, or do I actually have to, like, be kind of close and staring at him? I don't think he's turning red on his own. I think I have to be closer to him. Right in his face and ass? It could be. Oh, he's turning red. He's turning red. Yes! Okay, nice. Whew. Easy. What's this guy's name? I forget, like Billboard Man or something? I, I'll figure it out once I uh, go to sleep tonight. Or the next time I go to sleep, I'll get like the recap of what his name was. Or maybe he tells me right here. 180 no-scoped? I really did do that 180, didn't I? It was pretty slick. Decent amount of money, maybe? 120 Zs? That was kind of hard. Come on. I mean, not that hard. <gasps> Hoda film. Okay, why do, why do you have so many... What are the point of all these films? I don't get what the films are for. I'm checking the phone book? There's a phone book? Oh, wait. Oh, I see what you mean. That book. Yes, that's true. I can check that as well. Yo, so is this ever open? Long Life Cinema has closed its doors today. Thank you. Why is... 
Hmm. The cinemas always close. You mean the family? Yeah, the family scrapbook or album or whatever. Remember you're using voice of speech? I will keep that in mind. Oh, uh, old man, I'm gonna need you to mind your shop so that I can buy things from you. Actually, what are you up to? Good morning it is. Treasures, old things could be. Okay, Yoda. I wonder if it's possible to kiss the dog. I feel like all the NPCs are kissable, right? In some way. Somehow. Probably you need to give the dogs... Ow. Probably need to give the dog, like, a bone or some meat or something. Okay. Let me go through which films this guy has for sale. Quite two. Uh, buy something. Sells. He does not have Arabayama or whatever the guy's name was. Arashahama. Okay, he doesn't have those. That film. He's got lots of other films, but not that one. Sure. Don't hear any robo people talking. Man, could you imagine if I had that? If I just had the text-to-speech for all chat? I would not approve, personally. Okay, well... That's all I can really think of doing here now. So I'm gonna go to, uh... Scarecrow Field, I guess. And try to figure out how to get my eggplant. And there's a couple of other kissable people there I can try. Oh, I can do this real quick. I want tobacco. You can't smoke unless you're 18. I want tobacco. What? Your bag is... My bag is full? Fuck. Well, I can just throw things away, right? And I think they reappear after I... Hmm... If text to speech was added, you would be like, ay 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 was that band eventually like called in qu into question for you know like its appropriation or did you actually have like Chinese band members I'm thinking about what to throw out I get all of these items back I like 90% sure I can just reclaim them whenever one day you'll be a robot how do I know you're not already How do I know you're not Chinese? Uh, I mean, I guess I don't. Somehow Schumann just sounds like a white name. I mean, maybe, I guess, forgive me if that's presumptuous. Maybe it's Su Min? It could be, I guess. Could be a romanization of Su Min. In which case, I apologize for my presumption. I'm throwing all this out. I need inventory space. Oh, whoops! I didn't toss it. I wait. Let me let me confirm that I can actually reclaim all items. If you're Chinese, you probably wouldn't be asking me how I know you're not Chinese. You might be, or well, no, you're right. More likely, you would just be telling me that you are Chinese. It could be you. It could be me. It could even be... It was obvious he was the spy. Uh... Yeah, okay, so anything I throw away I can just get back. Okay, good. So in that case, I will toss this as well. 
If you were an AI, you would be a million times four. Wait, what? What is that, man? Man, those old TF2 skits or like shorts were so good. I never even played TF2, but those were like culture defining on the internet in 2012. But he just sells me tobacco even after telling me I'm too young. He's like, you're too young. You need to be 18 to eat have tobacco, and then I just used it anyway. Hold on. Wait, let me try this. Can I? I'm going to go smoke in front of the, uh, in front of the cop. Never played TF2? No. Never got into it. I don't know. What can I say? I played RuneScape, and I played League for my entire life up until, uh, well, up until like a year and a half ago. <laughs> um, what am I doing? Oh, I'm save scumming is what I'm doing. So do I just have to show this guy the tobacco in order to get my first strike? You. Oh, I'm smoking right in front of the cop. Oh shit. Hello? Okay, good. He did. He saw me. Thank God. Are you smoking? It's a crime for kids to smoke. I'm checking your criminal record. Your crime stamp total is now one. When you get three crime stamps, you'll be sent to the graveyard. Hmm. You know, contemplate between RDR2 and TF2? What would I even do if uh, TF2 won? Again, TF2 is like a multiplayer game, right? It's something that you, like, play for hundreds of hours or whatever. Would I just, like, play it for a stream and be really bad at it? Almost dead, better wash my hands. I'm almost heartbroken. Better go tuck into bed and have my dad tell me he loves me. You mean. Because it's not death, it's being heartbroken. But yeah, I'm going to heal and then I'm just going to catch the first train out of here. I wonder, did that consume my tobacco? It did. I wonder if the three crimes even need to be unique. Maybe I can just buy tobacco three times and that counts as the three different crimes. Hmm. Kind of an expensive option, considering I'm already low on money, but might be a good idea. Okay, wait, we have to we have to go through the long cutscene because I kissed that one guy today. So we have to go through the tree. Oh well. I need my health back, so. Everyone is talking about Brungo. I'm so worried about my son's reputation. Wasn't it a day? How do I go to sleep in the middle of the day? I can just go to sleep whenever I want. Tin Signboard. That was the name of the guy I kissed. Tin Signboard. That means, Rungo has kissed 17 times in his whole life. He could do better. Keep trying and become a man with a strong heart. The next goal is four kisses. <laughs> you too. That's a, that's a pretty good power. I don't know. I can't just like go to bed whenever I want. I can wake up whenever I want pretty easily. I can, I can set an alarm for whatever and, uh, and, and like get up and you know not miss it. Actually my body has like this insane power where whenever I set my alarm to my body wakes me up 15 minutes before that alarm goes off. So I, I actually almost never even hear my alarm when I set it. It's kind of cool. What I just play TF2 occasionally when I don't want to play a game for 10 streams straight? Hmm. Maybe, I don't know. I I have been thinking about like new f changing up the format a bit to like increase the variety of uh like breaking up super long games, you know? Or just increasing the variety of games played in general. But I I feel like most of the vibe and most of like how I want to play games is like I have a game that 
has a start point and an end point, and I play it until I reach the end point, you know? I'm an X-Man? Yeah, I got the most boring mutant superpower. <laughs> Where to? Scarecrow Field. We're going. <laughs> <laughs> I still wonder how I'm actually supposed to make money in this game. I'm always so low on money, and there just seems to be like no viable money-making method. She pot. When's the train come? I have no idea when the train comes. Like, I think I floated this idea before. She's what I think's best. Yeah, I'm thinking about chain about um, changing it up so I play games in a block. Like I have like a Monday through Thursday block and then a Friday through Sunday block, like weekday weekend. Oh, forgot how this works. With the idea being that, like, right now, if somebody cares about a particular game, but it takes me, like, two weeks to play it, it's unlikely that someone can, like, play, can come in every single day to watch me play for two weeks straight, right? Just because they might actually have, like, a schedule. <laughs> but, like, maybe they can, you know, watch on weekends, or maybe they can watch on weekdays. And so if you care about the game, you actually get to see the entire game, you know? Instead of having to like miss days in the middle of it. And it would also break up long games. Multiple weeks of La Milana. Yeah, the downside is that games like La Milana would end up taking two months to beat instead of one month. Uh, but, I don't know. I don't know. My, my personal preference just is like playing games. Uh, it's just, yeah, to just play one game until I finish it. Like what I'm doing now. Run a multiplier and split blocks multiplier. Yeah, exactly. Speedrunning world record of RDR2 is 18 hours. Damn. Well, it's probably not a game that has a ton of skips, I would imagine. Maybe I'm wrong, but. Isn't it like a super long story-based game? Oh god. This dude. I've never been here while he crawls out of his hole, have I? I'm kind of curious if he's ever kissable. Hey, Ballstick. You like to finish the game you started instead of jumping all over the place? Yeah, that's how I am too, which is why I currently have my current format. But I think like doing four days a week of a game and just like, you know, alternating wouldn't really be jumping over the pl all over the place too much. All I know about this guy is that he'll click. He'll click? He'll click. Is that a text-to-speech error? Or speech-to-text error? Also, uh, how, how was the rest of your stream, Balsa? Good evening. You, last I saw, you were in some dungeon that I had never seen in my entire life, or when I played that game. It's actually correct? He'll click? What does that mean, he'll click? All I know about this guy is that he'll click? I have seen him... Wait, I've seen him become not angry when I, like, go over here. Does he like the sound of... He just gets angry at me if I start running, right? Wait, never mind. I thought he gets angry at me if I run around. Oh! Is it, wait, is it the sounds of the leaves that he likes? He's not angry right now. Wait, he's not angry. He's also not loving, though. Hmm. Long story-based games felt like you spent an eternity with the characters and yet you wanted more time with them. Yeah, I've heard it's basically like a TV show in a video game. Um, which... It would take a very long time for me to get through it, but you know, I've spent very long times on games before at this point, in that La Milana and Dark Souls both took me a long time. I made him click? Hmm, I see what you mean. Also, hey, Dronin. 
Keep on my character has some random object sitting on top of their hat. It would be pretty nice if I could put this frying pan on top of my hat. What do I think this guy would like? Do you think he likes frogs? This look, he looks like this kind of guy who likes frogs. He seems like the kind of guy who likes Hideyuki films. He seems like the kind of guy who likes lavender. Who likes, I don't know, man, a magnifying glass? If I talk to you again, you just yell at me some more, right? Hold on, let me save scan. Uh, it went well. It was a dungeon of enemies that you fight through. Oh, yeah, okay, never mind. To unlock some useful stuff. Oh, I see. Yeah, I definitely did not do it <laughs> when I did my playthrough. But it's nice to hear that it went well. You're So you're, you're basically near the end of the game then, right? Just like one last stream is all it'll take to finish up Twilight Print. The, f the fuck? What? The rock is reacting to something. Uh. Wait. What? Okay. What do I have in my inventory that I didn't have last time? This magnifying glass? Because it proves that I'm smart. No. Yes. Uh. What? Uh. Is it the? Is it the? Alien dictionaries. <gasps> Holy shit, it is. Is Kanzale Language Dictionary, Volume 3, Nouns 2. Oh, God, notepad. Bringing out the notepad. Holy. Okay, um, what is this? Tulip Notes. Udon Suki. Those sound like some good noodles. Means fix. Chino Computer. Okay. Panda is a t telescope. Okay. I do need that. Drop kick equals what? Drop kick? I. Why are these actual words? Olympic? Udonsuki equals fix. Kodakara equals morning. Dempu is insert. I am Bender, please insert girder. Okay. Now what about Alien Dictionary 1? You can finish the game on Monday if you want, but you're probably going to go hunt for side content, so we'll probably wait till Tuesday. Wow, there's two streams left of side content? Thank you, Balsic, for the first person to notice that I added that emote. I saw that emote in a different stream and was like, I need to add that. Dempu dis D in your mouth. Sure thing. Ohagi. Affirmation. Okay. Dai Faku is negation. <laughs> it certainly is. Um, she a baddie. Appreciation. Thanks. Okay. Hun Banwa. Trouble. There is a problem. Kai Wari. Second person you. Okay. I'll just say you because you is second person. Um, Kuru Maisu, noun, it means codes? Wait, what? Huh? Wait, does that mean the word means noun? Wait, I don't know what that means. I think that just means it means codes. Huh. Okay, and now that I've done that, I'm going to throw the dictionaries away. that I have, because I can always pick them up again, just to confirm that the dictionaries are what he is re responding to. Right. So if I throw this three away, 
Then you should stop glowing. Wait, he's still... No, it doesn't say... Okay. It doesn't say it's reacting to anything anymore. It's just still... It's still glowing because the game is bad, I think. Or the game's just not updated, I mean. Sorry. This is an episode of Death Note? <laughs> is it? I... I, in the sense that I'm writing things down, I guess. I don't think anyone's dying. I don't think anyone's taking a, a potato chip or eating it. Okay, I don't think... I think if I leave and come back, it won't be glowing. Correct. Okay, okay, good, 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 yeah. So it was just the dictionary that it was uh, reacting to. Lavenders, I already have. I don't need more. So let me go check on my daikon. I've left it there for a while. Did it get traded for an eggplant by any chance? No, it got traded for money. 900 Zs, though. Oh. Vegetable vendor. Ooh, wait, hold on. What are the chances? Hold on a minute. I'm rich? That's actually, that is a very sizable amount of money. I really needed that. What if I put the sweet potato here? No reason to put something other than vegetables. Fellas, is a potato a vegetable? Sweet potato definitely is. I'm sorry to say. Hmm. What if it comes out of the oven? It's still a vegetable. That was the cold one anyway, it wasn't the warm one. Poor guy no longer poor, doesn't experience discrimination. I still do. I have the stigma of being a poor person on me regardless of how much I actually make. Yo, this daikon is gone. What if I needed that daikon for something? This is bad. Main character is a whole episode about him throwing the death note onto the ground and picking it back up over and over again. <laughs> Interesting. I only. I actually saw the. Whoa, hello. I actually saw the first season of that show. It's like the only anime I've ever watched in my life. Maybe they have root vegetables as a separate category. Yeah, I mean, I guess to be fair, even in English, that's sort of the case, right? Calling a potato a vegetable is kind of. sort of iffy? I mean, I think not really. I think most people would agree a potato is a vegetable, but. Because it's so starchy and not like, you know, nutrienty. Mm -hmm. Nia buy stuff so I can flex other people like Supreme shirts. Dude, imagine my character but dripped out in Supreme. Potato versus potato. Yeah, I don't know why you would type potato with an H. I think if you're I think if you're typing potato with an H, you're undermining your own uh you know, point that it should be pronounced potato because you're specifically typing it differently. Download the Supreme Textures. I wonder how hard it would be to mod this game to give your character Supreme. <laughs> Probably not super. I don't know. I don't know anything about modding these kinds of games, at least. Good. You make a meal, you consider potatoes as a carb, and you'll make another veggie to go with it. Me too. Yeah, which is which is why I say it's kind of interesting because yeah, the potato is like it's got calories, and culinarily speaking, vegetables aren't there to be like a primary calorie source, like a potato is. But I think if you were to ask someone, is a potato a vegetable? You would probably say yeah because it's like a non-fruit edible part of a plant, right? Wait, is there someone in here now? Oh my god! Wait, there's someone in here. Who are you? Who is this person? Hmm. Would a potato leader be a potatin to pot potatin totate? Potatin totate. <laughs> yes. If you had multiple of them, they would be a plenipotato potentiary. Ghost? Not a ghost. The person put their 
lights off after a while. I feel like he's a farmer or something. I kind of need a chat with a farmer. I need an eggplant. Hmm. What is this? Why are there bugs? You see this? There's like bugs going around. Oh, I know what I wanted to do. There's that invisible guy who I wanted to chase around. Now that I have more HP, I might actually be able to uh, finish that side quest. Looks like a straw hat. I wouldn't know. I've never read One Piece. Oh god, where is he? I hope I have enough time. I'm getting here pretty late. Okay, he's over here. Let's save scum. I think I got here a lot earlier than the last time I tried to do this. <laughs> You'll keep talking about it? That's totally fair. Wait, isn't he here? Oh no, does he not shown up yet? Wait, this is the intersection where he appears, right? Does he just not show up yet? Maybe he shows up at a specific time of night. I'm like 95% sure it's this intersection where the dude shows up. Um, no, it's definitely there. He must just not be here yet. Oh, there he is. Oh, interesting, you found me. Okay. Here we go, let's figure this out. He goes from here, elsewhere. He's... Okay, to, to, to here. I'm Johnny the Night Walking Invisible Man. You're suspicious to be walking around so late at night, don't you know? I did indeed come to steal your secret treasure. Yes, I did. You're correct to think so. Okay. Now he's here. Don't follow me for my fortune. He's starting to hit really hard, but I think I can tank one more hit. I think I heard him go up, didn't I? Yes. Ow! He's going back down. Where'd he go? He went back down, didn't he? Do I have any healing items? Fuck. Uh... Fuck, where'd he go? No. Well, I guess I have... I, I think I have potatoes in my inventory. I could probably eat a potato. I think this heals like two, though. Oops. Also, I pressed the wrong button for it. Are he's still up there? Yeah, I need to find him. Well, I don't know if that's going to be useful. Please. <gasps> no, it's just the stupid flowers. Where did he go? I swear I heard him go back down the stairs afterwards. It's okay, I'm going to save Scum to try this again. I just want to see where he goes. Come on. It's so weird. I swear I, I ran over to him and he went back down the stairs. Maybe he went even further. Maybe he went really far away. Huh. Plastic bucket, look inside. I got a teapot. <laughs> okay. What is this? Plastic bucket, look inside. Wait, I can't keep farming this, can I? No. Hmm. Well, I missed the window. Who? This isn't. This was definitely not a plastic bucket. It, it's kind of making the noise of a plastic bucket. Is this the dude who lives in this hole? Whose hole is this? Johnny the Night Walking Invisible Man is what he said his name was. 
I do have a recent save state. I am gonna try it again. Oh, th okay, this is chair guy. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. Blind guy would think that's a plastic bucket. I mean, this could be plastic. It's just kind of like shaped to look metal. I don't know. I don't think that's too unreasonable. Okay, let's try this again. Um, this one? Yeah, this one. Okay. So this time on location number four, I'm going to keep real close track of where he is. I think he shows up at midnight shaped like a trash can not a bucket well what is a trash can if not a bucket honestly most trash cans are plastic buckets right i mean specific that one specifically is kind of textured as if it were like one of the metal trash cans but many trash cans are plastic hey, excuse me sorry hey everybody how are you doing Cat update, she meowed mournfully at the bottom of the stairs. Oh, there it is. Because she wanted cuddles. Are you Aw. My cat does a lot of mournful meowing recently, so I think I can relate. I've gotten to the habit of just, uh... My cat always meows immediately after eating a lot. I think it's because she's got all the energy from, from her lunch. And she needs an outlet. She needs cuddles. Or a string. Rango versus the Invisible Man, take two. This is more like take five at this point. Okay. So he goes up here. And then he goes over here. Don't follow me for my fortune. What if I do? See, you hear him... Wait, what? What just happened? So he flattened me and then his footsteps just stopped. Wait, I'm so confused. Really arguing the semantics between buckets and a trash can? I don't know if a bucket needs to have a handle. I feel like a bucket is just a container. I feel like in its purest form, a bucket is really just like any kind of container. You know what I mean? He ran me over near the bottom of the stairs, but he, I don't see him. There's no interaction anywhere here. It's like he just disappears. Wait, aha! When I and my fortune disappeared, people looked for my fortune. But not me. Aw, I was very sad. Oh shit! The hell do I go? Hmm. Trash can is the lid and is much bigger. I don't know. I agree that's uh, semantics. I feel like categorically you can say a trash can is a kind of bucket. You want to eat the potato? The potato won't save me here. I just, I don't think I can do this. I don't think I have enough health and or healing. I just kind of want to figure out where his next location is in case I, for when I come back here, when I do have enough healing. I think I missed him already though. This is an interesting side quest. It really checks that you have a ton of health or healing. Oh, I found him. Okay, why the hell not? Down the hatch. Let's try it. Oh, wait a minute. Well, the hot sweet potato heals for a lot. Okay, if I do that and then the other one, I might actually be able to survive. Okay, 16 health. Don't kill me. Even my family members are strangers in the end. They change when it comes to money. I might feel better giving my fortune to you. Yes. Yes. I'll ask you to care for my fortune. Come this way. Where? Which way? No! No! <laughs> okay, well that's good, because now I learned... 
Okay, now I learned where he goes, and I noticed that I don't actually need to eat at all. It sounded like up. Hold on. Okay, so I don't need to eat my food at all. I will survive with 2 HP, and he won't deal damage to me. Good. Whatever it is, it's probably in a hidden place. Probably, but I just gotta find him. I mean, he, he says he'll show it to me, right? I just gotta find where he ends up. It's probably like in the manure pile or something that's right next door. But I guess we'll see. Dude, imagine if he just gives me a ton of money. There's so many things I could use with, or get with a, dun a ton of money. Only things that are similar between a buckets and trash cans are that they're containers. Yeah. Isn't that enough of a similarity? I don't know. Oops. I feel like I sometimes hear people refer to trash cans as buckets. I don't know. Anyway, if you... <laughs> If you want to drop it, I can drop it. Okay, we're speed running this. Don't follow me for my fortune. What if I do? What then? Okay, so he ends up here. Uh, I need to approach him so that he'll go up and then back down. Oh, wait, what? Wait, what? What just happened? Is he supposed to... Oh yeah, there he goes. Nigh and my fortune disappeared. People looked for my fortune, but not me. I was very sad. I think he goes away at 4 a.m. I think that's my time on it. Even my family members are strangers at the end. They change when it comes to money, and I might feel better giving my fortune to you. Come this way. Okay. You definitely went up and then down these stairs. Right? Yes. Hello. It's been a while since I spoke with a person. Thanks. 3,000 money! Let's fucking go. Okay. Huge, actually. That is a safe state. Oh. Okay. What can I do with 3,000 money? Currently, not really anything. <laughs> but, you know, one day. That was one hell of a save state. One poggy save state. Hmm. Oh, and while I'm here, I'll also uh, check this. Because I think, like, the teapot that you get out of here... I think the items you get from this plastic bucket are worth money. <gasps> Yo! The thing! Uh, <laughs> That's the thing I've been looking for the entire time. What is that doing there? Why is it just in a randomly... Why is it randomly generated in the trash can? Apparently it's been randomized. What? Save again? Yeah, probably a good idea. Probably, probably, probably. Hmm. Keep wanting to call Z Zenny. You don't remember what game that's from? Is that that Mega Man currency that people were referencing yesterday? Okay, so now I need someone to fix this broken telescope. Uh, I think no matter what, I gotta get back to town, right? Yeah, okay, I'm gonna go back to town. Which is, uh... Oh, it's a little bit away. Oh, it's, it's like four hours from now. There's other games that use Z Zenny. Really? 
I mean, I think calling them Zen makes sense because it's like Yen, but, uh, you know. Oh, I can't do this. I already use this. It's like Yen, but with a Z. I don't know why. I was calling it Zed a couple of times as if I were like, you know, Canadian or British. I can't believe the telescope, I just found a telescope in the random fucking trash can. Disgusting, yeah, imagine. I cannot, I cannot get on board with uh, calling ZZ. It's, uh, what's the, what's the D doing in there, you know? Other consonants don't have that. We say B, you know, not bed. You're not going to drop it. Just because they're both containers, it doesn't mean they're in the same category of things. They serve very different purposes, and they look very different, and trash cans have lids. Trash cans are bigger. Okay. Um, I'm going to Google what a bucket is. Definition. A roughly cylindrical open container, typically made of metal or plastic, with a handle used to hold and carry liquids or other materials. So a trash can is a roughly cylindrical open container, typically made of metal or plastic, that is used to hold material, right? Granted, they typically don't have a handle, so that is probably the defining feature of a bucket. But I, I still don't think it's outside the realm of reason to describe a trash can as bucket or bucket-like. It's a metric system version of Z, it's divisible by 10. I guess that makes sense. The D stands for like DECA or whatever. Buy your furniture from LayZ Boy. Yeah, see, LayZ Boy just doesn't make sense. And there's other abbreviations for Z, like when you. It just doesn't work. I don't know. I mean, granted, Laz Lazy Boy would never exist if it wasn't for the American pronunciation of Z, but. And then where would we be, you know? Without Lazy Boy. Does Lazy Boy still exist? I feel like I have never seen a Lazy Boy or had or owned or used or seen Lazy Boy furniture. I've just kind of like heard about it in passing as cultural reference. A bed said dead. E F ged. H I J K M N O ped. Q R S Ted U V E D W X Y and Z. I mean it rhymes just as well. Have a Have a Okay, I need to find someone to fix my telescope. You see no issues with that? Sure. In German, all the letters have an A instead of an E, like an A sound. But they still know, and and they do say Z. For Z, for Z, they they do they do keep the uh, or they also have the, the the consonant at the end, which obviously it's because it comes from Zeta. But you know, all all those Greek letters are different sounding, so I don't think that's a proper excuse. I should just heal, shouldn't I? I'm gonna heal, and I'm also gonna show my dad the um, the telescope in case he has something to say about it. Doggo. I wish I could pet the doggo. The doggo kind of just kills me, though. Let me put this up for a vote. Make a poll named Are Trash Cans Basically Bigger Buckets with Lids? <laughs> um, I, forget how to, I forget how to even make a poll, to be honest. I genuinely don't. Oh, wait, here it is. Manage poll. New poll. Question. Is a trash can a bucket? Yes. No. Dark ball. There you go. Mm -mm -mm. I don't know if anyone's going to have strong feelings on this. Bins. No, we're not going to get into the bin versus trash can debate here. Do you have anything to say about this, Dad? What? Broken telescope? I don't know anything about it since we've just moved here. 
Don't ask me. Ask the people in the town. God damn it. Okay, whatever, Dad. Uh, let's get up a, oops, a little bit later than this. Oh, I, you know what I completely forgot? I just now remembered. Yesterday I got the ability to run. I got I got the ability to sprint, and I just haven't been using it today. I forgot I got that. <sighs> okay. I'm so worried about my son's reputation that I can't sleep. Let's see. Today, Brungo kissed. What? No one. It looks like we're two to one on trash cans are a bucket. And I couldn't even vote. So... I don't know what to say. Going to cry? Why? Did you... Did you not get your preferred victor in the uh, trash can bucket saga? Or did my wait? Sorry, did my dad say he was going to cry? I was. I, I'm not paying attention to the uh, to what the dad is saying. Oh, because I didn't kiss. Him. Listen, you don't gotta kiss people on every single day of your life in order to be happy. You know, one might make the argument that you never have to kiss anybody to be happy. I would certainly like to make that argument. Didn't I set my alarm for six? Why did I wake up at five? Whatever. Rigged? This is up for debate. Okay, sure. I mean, that's the that's the classic strategy when you know you know when you lose the poll, just say it was rigged. Caution, angry people. <laughs> I just read that. It's kind of funny. <laughs> Okay, I don't know when this guy opens. This is the only guy I could think of who might like be able to repair a telescope, because, you know... I don't know, he's in an antique shop? I don't know where else I would go. Maybe I could show the doctor, because the doctor is smart. He does smart things. Is being with chat GB GPT a fad or a nail in Google's coffin? I haven't even heard of this. Bing is integrating chat GPT? I have not heard of it, so doesn't seem like much of a nail in Google's coffin. Not a lot of cars, it's true. The cities are ah are walkable, you know. Bad dog. Wait, is the shop open? The shop might genuinely just be open. Neil and Google's coffin seems to be the layoffs. I, yeah, I couldn't tell if that's because like Google's actually doing bad or if it just, you know, whatever bean counters they have realized that they could like fire 20,000 people and save a lot of money, you know? Bing has millions of nails. There's physically no more space to put nails on. True. Bing has been crucified 20 times over. <sighs> Microsoft has thrown its lot in with OpenAI and has demonstrated some impressive stuff. Hmm. How 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 does Bing integrate chat GPT? Is it like just predicting search results somehow? I don't know. Like what's the actual implementation? What's the use? Government funding drying up? Oh no. Biden killed Google? Dangerously based? Have a conversation with it and it tells you things. Some of them are even true. Well, yeah, I know Chat GPT does that, but like, how is that unique to Bing's implementation? Because like, isn't Chat GPT just like free for everybody? Or is it owned? Or is it is Chat GPT owned by Microsoft? I didn't know that. I've never used it. Hello. Okay. You, sir. Broken telescope. Can you fix this? What about it? I want you to fix it, man. Shit. Use DuckDuckGo. Yeah, that's fair. I probably shouldn't use Google. You know, I, I don't use Google Chrome, so I shouldn't really be using Google as a search engine either. But whatever. It's too late now. They have everything they ever will on me. They can probably, you know... 
chaos theory predict every single event in the entire rest of my life by now, so who cares? Oh, yo! What? Oh, this person apparently comes out at like 10 p.m. or something? What is that noise? Missed him? Yeah, I missed him. What is that noise? Ah, who do I sh Ah, God. Who do I show this telescope to? To fix it? Oh, it's someone sleep. Oh, it's probably what's his face? Brung Girl's dad. He's a bum. Google rushed a competitor to chat GPT out the door and had a really embarrassingly bad demo of it. It's kind of funny. An optometrist? Do opt oh, right, I said I was going to check the doctor. You're right, Dronin. I was going to check the doctor. My underground buddy? Oh. Yeah, I haven't talked to him in a long time. Can I actually show him items for hints? I've not gotten any hints from him, but I probably should be doing that. Yeah, the, the layoffs are not good. I mean, I think there's a lot of reasons to not feel bad for Google. I hope you don't mind me saying about your former employer. <laughs> On the same, but then again, you know, there's also not a lot of reason to cheer for the success of Microsoft. Hello, Doc. Hi. Can you wait? Dude, this guy just sleeps all day. Okay, whatever. I'm going to wait for him to wake up. Since I can't even go to my dude in the underground until the afternoon. Like a true doctor. Yeah, they're so infamously lazy. You have mixed feelings about Google. You worked for there two years and it was broadly miserable. That makes sense. Isn't um, my whole like perception of working for Google, which obviously is just the outsider perspective, is that they just pay you heat loads of money in order to like cover up horrendous like working, well, hours mostly workload. The doctors need their sleep. It's a challenging work. What the hell does he do that's so challenging? I mean, he's got whatever mad scientist contraption over here going on. Press the button, nothing happens. Hmm. You don't buy the rhetoric that Google's evil? I don't think Google's any particularly more evil than any other mega corporation. You know? I don't know. Uh... Man, there's like nothing to do. This guy has to wake up eventually, right? I know if I talk to him, he wakes up for a brief conversation, then he just goes back to sleep again. More like Dr. Crappy. Does he literally just sleep for the entire 24-hour cycle? He just like is in a coma permanently? If perks that are designed to make it easier for its employees to not stop working. You mean like to not quit? Or you mean to, like, not go home at the end of the day? Not go home? Yeah. That's no good, in my opinion. I, uh, Dr. Dandy's an interesting character. He has a lot of depth. He has a lot of, you know, really interesting dialogue and action and scenes and but things have I experienced with him? I've experienced him sleeping. And that's it. I guess we talked to each... He was one of the first characters I meet in the, like, the tutorial on the very first day. But then I forget what that conversation was even about. It's taking forever to save up enough points to buy a ticket for the raffle. Yeah, I'm sorry. We have some like uh, crazy people who watch the stream for a lot of hours and it kind of floods the uh floods the raffle <clears throat> oh old telescope what do you think of this you want to show me something come closer then okay good you don't need to provide delicious cafe food to keep employees from going off-site for food they could just provide cold sandwiches or something Oh, you're saying that, like, 
they do actually provide you good amenities. It's just, it's in exchange for like, you know, your soul. <laughs> your entire life. You don't have points? Really? I don't know. I, I have no idea. I know, I mean, to some degree it's tied, you get like point multipliers for being subbed, but I don't think the point multiplier for being subbed is even that much. Do you like click on the little like uh, box every time? You know, you get like a plus 50 point channel point box that pops up sometimes. I think there's like a plugin somewhere that like auto redeems that for you. So you can just like passively collect the full amount of points. Of course I know. Wait, what? Broken telescope, yes I know, of course I do. That is so unhelpful. 20% for tier 1, 100% for tier 3. There you go. That's how Schumann rigs every poll with uh, Tulip. Oh, handsome boy. Brungo, welcome. Hmm. Got someone to acknowledge me? Sort of. Yeah, that didn't feel like much of an acknowledgement. I don't know. Fuck. So a possible raffle game, but it requires flash. Uh, that's okay. I think I still have, like, the standalone uh, flash player installed on this computer because, yeah, I like flash games. Or at least I can always download it. I think you can always like download the non-browser base, like standalone Adobe Flash, to just play offline. Can someone named Butt with twenty U's team up with Schumann to buy a ticket for me to play this game? Sh I don't think Schumann put any Tulip tickets in, but Butt did get help from Kara Rinpa, and I think a couple other people put in Tulip tickets once it became a meme. Yeah, great. Yeah, no, Ch Flash games are totally. An option, I, I should think. I'm curious what game you have in mind. There's a chance I might have played it. What am I doing, by the way? I'm thinking. Who do I go to? Hmm. Snailiad. Is that like the Iliad, but you're a snail? 10 a.m. to 7 p.m. He's literally asleep the entire time. Okay, I have not I have not heard of it or played it, drone in, so that's gonna be interesting. Private property cheap pot. No. Oh, there's like a building back there. Form alliances, yes, this is just like Survivor. Miss Form Alliances to survive. Can I like break into this guy's house? Metroidvania with a snail? Okay. I could buy it or play it. Returning to the previous topic, you think Google's more evil than they used to be, but still less evil than the average mega corporation. Yeah, it kind of, I mean, I don't know. It's hard for me to say as someone who hasn't seen how the sausage is made, but it's just the general discomfort with a company that has so much like information on you. Even if, uh, I think in general, I would guess that the culture at the top of Google is generally well-meaning and not full of literal supervillains. But just the nature of, like, the data that they collect makes it sus to me. Steal his unbroken telescope? I don't know if he's got one. Can I talk to him? I think about my life at night always. And someday my life will. Sorry, Yoda voice. <clears throat> And someday my life will. Broken someday antiques will be. Our destiny it is. God damn it. Destiny. Destiny it was for Gold Raccoon to go missing. Never forget I will. March 15th last year. On a fine morning it happened. From the sky a crane came and flew away with my gold raccoon. Already I've given up. I don't care. What the fuck is a gold raccoon and why do you care about it? A clue I have. Brungo, I let you have it. Here. Received crane feather. What am I supposed to do with this? Hmm. 
Culture at the top of Google is incredibly filled with fairly standard executives, which is why you gave them the pressure and laid off people they didn't need to. That makes sense, I guess, yeah. I mean, it, it, I guess that's true. Probably the top of all companies is sort of like the same kind of, the same kind of person. Where the crane nest is, no one knows. If we find the nest, we get my golden raccoon back, we can. Uh. Rare ornament from the south the gold raccoon is. And if you can't find it, I don't care. Ever heard of a game where a funny little anxiety-ridden Italian man scales a tower to save his restaurant? I have. It's Pizza Tower, right? I have heard of this. The point is this game is dumb. Well, what do you got against Oracle? I'm curious now. I know nothing about Oracle. Except for they made Java. Or they own Java? I don't know. Pizza Dog? No, no, no. I think it's called Pizza Tower. Fuck! <laughs> I wasn't far enough away when I started running. Speaking of running, I keep forgetting to use my ability to run. Although, honestly, running is hardly even faster than walking in this game. It's, like, marginally faster. Hmm. Another Snailiad. All right. I think you're currently... No. I think you're currently uh, one-third of the raffle. What's that noise? I wonder how I get naked in public. Hello. Can I talk to you? This is a bar. Ten years too early for you to come here, Brungo. What? Am I eight? Wait, no way Brungo's eight years old. What's the wait, what's the drinking age of Japan? Drinking age Japan. Oh, it's twenty. Never mind, I'm ten. Okay. Interesting. Hmm. Cookie to anyone who puts Pizza Tower in the raffle and you're not lying. How would you give them the cookie? What is the mechanism by which you will deliver this? God, I'm running around. Okay. What if the broken telescope is like a red herring and I can't even fix this in order to make the telescope that I need? That would be silly, right? Surely someone can fix this telescope for me. Ooh, 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 ooh. What is this, what is this person again? This is the phone booth. 10Z a call. I don't think I've called anyone. Ooh. They open source their operating system, which led to this interesting tech being released in the open source ecosystem, then Oracle bought Sun and shut it all down. Oh, uh, yeah, that is pretty scummy. Is that unusual, though? I thought that just, like, happens all the time in tech. I've never used this phone booth before in this game. What does this do? Brunko, my son, I'm bored at home. I've read Long Life Times and found more incidents. There are 16 strange incidents to be solved. 17 students are refusing to go to school. A crisis, a big crisis. What? School? We have a school? I'm gonna find their personal details like the hacker man you are and deliver a cookie to them. Yo, if you can hacker man my address to deliver me a cookie, I'll play Pizza Tower on the house. How about that? No pressure? Yeah. Just, you know, 16 incidents to resolve. On your own time. Oh, hey, it's this dude. This guy- oops! Fuck me. Hey, this is Dr. Phil. He doesn't- he, Wait! Dr. Dr. Phil likes inventing. Surely in, uh, an inventing guy would like a broken telescope. Get your ass back here! Where are you going? Okay, never mind. Doesn't want that. What is this one again? I always forget who's in this hole. This isn't Dr. Phil's hole, right? That's pretty clear. Hmm. I think I, I think he timed out right as I delivered the item. Oh right, this is this guy. I've never actually seen him out of his hole. That's right. 
I wonder if I need to get him something, or if I can just... Oops. Banana. Oh, this is the guy who likes flamingos. I don't know if I actually need to show him an item or anything, or if I just... I've never been around while he was out. The tea room. Wait, I've never been in here before. What? There's like a whole ass place back here. Hold on. What is this? There's a hole. I've never been in here. Hmm. Hmm. Do, 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 do. Smiley, there better be someone in here who can fix my telescope, but let me tell you. Oh my god, it's a turtle. Turtle Boy's Life. Hobby figure drawing. The saying of the day is, I love to draw the town's night view. Neon signs, show windows, and those lights at construction sites. But I love to draw people more. My hobby is figure drawing. Okay. Good for you. What can I use here? I can interact with this. Is that the lion? Is he asleep in there? I think so. I think the lion guy is asleep in there. Hmm. Teapot? I do see teapot. I got a teapot before, but that but then I safe scummed, so I didn't get the teapot, I got the broken telescope instead of it. I do think it would be interesting if I Hmm. Maybe I need to go back to Scarecrow Field and pull out the teapot from that trash can. This is the back of the shop? Wait, what shop? Is a shop here? Oh, a teapot shop. Right, I've never been in that one. I didn't realize it exists. Hack me, and you know my IP is 140-21-92-177, and I live in Wisconsin. Wisconsin? I think you got the wrong person. I think you just sent a cookie to Bud. The other thing? The bath. You mean the bath. Okay, this is the back of the bath. That makes sense, because this is like the heater or whatever. I'm, I'm, I'm chilling out and seeing when Turtle Boy comes out right now. Should I wait a full 24 hour cycle to see when he comes out? I might as well, because like I've never I've never been here before. Man, I doubt this is going to be someone who <laughs> fixes my telescope. You know where he lives? Do enlighten us, our dear minimal nebby. Oh, wait, you're talking about me. I thought you were talking about the guy who can fix my broken telescope in game. You like the river area? This place is very nice. Also, how are you doing, Max? Good evening. He, yeah, dox me. Great idea. Actually, don't. This is actually genuinely one of the reasons why I'm a little bit, like, I'm kind of hesitant to put up, a, like, a VOD channel or whatever. Because as it is, anything that I say is just, like, gone after 14 days on stream, right? And I kind of like that ephemerality. I feel like if you were a dedicated enough stalker and you had access to all of my VODs, you could probably narrow down where I live pretty closely just off of things that I say offhandedly. You know what I mean? Don't worry, this turtle will pop out at some point. It's interesting that there's no day music back here. You know, I think we're outside. <clears throat> Maybe I need to supply the day music. Oh, shit. He just lives in a furnace. What is this guy's deal? Grr. Huh? You're kind of smelly. Oh, yeah, right. This is a guy who tells me to go take a bath. Perks of being a small streamer, less chance of creepy stalkers you can dog to. Yeah. I would, I mean, there's, what? You just kicked me out? Wait. Wait, no, 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 I need to find Turtle Man. Ah, uh, I bet I missed this guy in the meantime, too. 
fuck it. I'm going to wait for this one now. Yeah, no, I think there would be a lot of reasons why being like a big mega streamer would suck ass. I like this size a lot. Like a little bit bigger would be my ideal. You can quote that out of context if you want. This message was a test. A test of what? My patience? This game is a test of patience, to be fair. Imagine running into someone in public who knew who you were. It's so such a bad feeling. Especially, uh, God, whenever I have to go back to like my hometown, mostly to visit my mom, like we drive through there, I'm just like absolutely terrified that I'll act like I'll see someone in the street who like knew me in high school because I just I don't want to interact with any of them ever in my entire life. <laughs> It was a test to see if I knew where I lived. I do know where I live. Maybe. How do you know that I know where I live? I didn't actually give you the information. Aside from not Wisconsin. How to wear glasses with a big nose and a mustache. I think I have other distinguishing features. <laughs> Old Groucho. What if it, it, imagine if you like couldn't use that as a disguise because you actually had a big nose and a mustache, and so it would just help people identify you more? Do the CSI enhancing to see where I live? Oh yeah. Ah, uh, that's my favorite trope. Enhance. It's kind of justified in like a sci-fi scenario, but on CSI, it's so funny. You live on the Duluth side of Duluth Superior? I feel like I'm getting ligmed. What's Duluth? <laughs> Actually, no, I live in Wyoming. Bob, nobody lives in Wyoming. What do you think I am, like a buffalo? I know that. I recognize that bulge. Internet would be even worse. Yeah, that's fair. I can't imagine it's very easy to get high speed streamable internet in like Cheyenne, which I think is the only city in that state. I live in New Mexico. Isn't doesn't doesn't New Mexico have a color filter? I know so I know um so Mexico is orange in Breaking Bad, right? But is, is like the normal like New Mexico American setting also like blue? Does it have a color filter? I've seen one season of that show and it was a long time ago. Anyway, if I lived in New Mexico, I would have good Mexican food where I lived. So sadly, no, that's not right either. My color filter is blue. I live in the anti-Mexico. I love how I apparently just... And once again, whenever I wait for one of these holes, I'm always here like right at the end of the cycle, I think. I have to wait like a full 24 hours to see when this guy pops out. Anyway, this is a, this is a starting area guy, so even if I kiss him, he's gonna give me like 50 gold. And there's no way he's gonna repair my telescope. On the other hand, sometimes random items like random kissy guys will just give me like plot necessary items I'm really tempted to go check on the turtle boy while I'm allowed to be in there but I also no no I'm waiting on this one this one first this one first I'm Santa's lankier brother that'd be pretty cool also don't think they have good, like, internet infrastructure on the North Pole, though. Check the turtle? No, 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 no. Dude, this, the second I check the turtle, this guy is going to pop out. I'm telling you. 
The turtle probably comes out sometime during the day when you're not allowed to be in there, and you probably need to make some, like, progress with the lion guy so that you're allowed to be back there during the day. That would be my guess. Tea room. I gotta think. I, there must be some indication for where I could go to repair a telescope. I have a broken telescope. I just need to fix it. Hmm. I should just show it to more NPCs, maybe? Yeah, I'm just going to start showing it to more NPCs. Okay, that's my new plan. On tomorrow, I'm going to walk around town and I'm going to show every single NPC that I got my, uh, my telescope, which is not a euphemism. Dude, it was literally the end of the cycle, wasn't it? This guy com must come out like two hours before I started sitting here. Exploration can't hurt my progress. It's true. It's true. I just, for right now, sometimes you just got to put your foot down and say, I am waiting to see when someone comes out of this hole. <clears throat> oh, oh, boom. Thank God there's no jump scares in this game. Yet. There might be. You might just be saying that so that I don't expect it when the jump scares are coming. I still don't get who's like going off on the horn in the middle of the night. I don't know what that sound effect is supposed to be. Is that just supposed to be like a random person playing their instrument? I live in Chicago. I've been to Chicago once for like three days. The thing is I like very commonly say, oh, hello, you. Hold on, wait, real quick. I really commonly say not only what state, but what city I live in. What about it? Okay, never mind. Just double checking. He does nothing about a broken telescope. Some sort of rural instrument. Ah, it's like a fiddle. Or a kazoo. Not to work on your hacking skills, for real. You're off by... It's interesting the states that you're guessing to. You know, I guess Chicago is like a big city, but Wyoming? New Mexico? Not on the top of the list to guess. I think if you were a hacker, the first thing that you would notice is that if you scroll down to directly underneath my stream, you'll see that my stream hours are listed in Pacific Standard Time. So you would therefore guess that I am living somewhere within that time zone. It's like emulating a small Japanese town. Yeah, everything that has happened so far to me in this oh! game, I am assuming, is what life in Japan is like. Okay, he's angry. He's angry. Where is he going? Do I need it? I probably need to show him a flamingo. I, he probably doesn't just turn happy, but a lot of these early game guys just like turn happy randomly. Actually, it's not even about early game. It just sometimes they just turn happy without me needing to do anything. But Doctor Phil didn't, and ugh, this guy probably won't either at this rate. Yeah, I probably need to show him a flamingo. I don't know what that would entail, but maybe there's like a inflatable flamingo or one of those lawn ornaments that I can get. I don't know if they have those in Japan. Come on. 
My eyes are glued to whether or not he turns happy. He's gone, isn't he? He's fucking gone. No! Dun, dun, dun. Come on. Wow, he stays here for a long time, doesn't he? What does he come out at like 2 a.m.? He doesn't go away until like 5 a.m.? I assume he digs away at 5 here. Yeah, okay. Damn. <sighs> okay, I need an item for him. Well, that was a bust. Never heard of time zones? You live in a place where time does not exist. Please explain what are time zones. Uh, well, you know, sometimes you just got to be in the zone. And so we call that being in a time zone. It's, it's hard to explain if you know you, you, you don't grow up with that culture of time zones. Oh, look at this guy. He wakes up late. It's interesting. Um... It's like a timeshare. Okay, that's a workable explanation. Hold on. I said I'm going to show it to every... Okay, I'm, I want to show it to every NPC. And I mean it. I'm going to show it to the cop. I'm going to show it to the cleaning lady. I've One that sort of makes sense to me is showing it to the, uh, to the bus sign who wants me to get that wants me to kiss the alien in the first place, they might be able to help me. I can't believe showing it to my dad didn't, showing it to my dad didn't help, showing it to the antique guy didn't help. Um, are you turning it in? Just showing it to you. Oh, I think I can turn it into the lost and found that way, I guess, maybe, I don't know. You, what are your thoughts on this broken telescope? You give me broken telescope? Thank you. But I can't accept it. Okay, never mind. Hee hee hee. Hee 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 indeed. Man, this sucks. I have no idea. Maybe I can't even... What if I can't even repair this? This ha No, this has to be it. If I need a telescope... Okay, I can't even show that to you. If I need a telescope, then surely repairing a broken telescope is the right play. It's just, ah, uh, it's gotta be, I believe. For my own sanity, I have to believe that. Is Ohio on Earth anymore? You're not sure at this point. When you look at the sky, you only see space and there's no moon to be seen. Kind of kicks ass. You're making, uh, making Ohio sound like a cool place to live. You! Wait, I already tried showing this to you. You have nothing to say to me about it, right? What? What about it? Fuck you, man. I'm trying to fix it. What about the deadbeat rocker dude? No. What are the chances? Maybe I can catch the, um, the doctor right when he wakes up or right when he opens his doors in, like... Yeah, the hospital opens up at 10. Oh, you, 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 you. Huh? Oh, broken telescope. What about it? Fuck you, man. Please help. No, don't go back to bed. At least let me talk to you. You're up early. Did you sleep well? Dude, it's 10 a.m. I took my medication. What? Ingredients? Ha ha ha. It's a secret. Damn it. Ohio sucks, do not come at all costs. I don't know why Ohio suddenly became this like meme of like a horrific place to live or whatever. Or I mean I guess it's just memes don't necessarily need reasons, right? Caution utility pole. Yo, know, am I seeing this right? Oh, I am seeing this right. My frames are getting destroyed. Uh I'm sorry folks. I do not know why that's going on. I am my frames are dying. Uh? Yeah, it's not really getting better, is it? Hold on. 